What's up, everybody? It's Maurice with All Got Everything. And today I'm going to be talking about the power of mindset. More specifically, how I overcame my season of depression to get back into my business and just doing what God has called me to do. Thank you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to do this video. As you can tell, I'm very excited. It's really strange to hear somebody super excited to talk about depression, but being that I'm transparent and God has brought me out of that season, I can openly talk about that season and hopefully be an asset to you, helpful to you, or in some way help you change your mind to change your life. As you may know, my channel is all about encouraging content creators like yourself to be the best versions of yourself. And the best thing that we can do is be transparent. Yes, I've had a season of depression. It was overwhelming. Um, and I'm pretty sure most of you have dealt with uh, pandemic fatigue, loss, um, tragedy, whatever it looks like to you, whether it was a childhood trauma or something that happened more recently, we've all had similar yet different experience. So I want to share mine with you to encourage you guys. So about a year ago, I lost my son. The name is Timmy Evan. This is a representation of Timmy. This is the, the heart. This is his foot. This is his hand. And you know, the little bottom part fell off here. Um, so um, I'm doing this video to uh, be really transparent because I'm not going to lie. I, about a year ago, I was really on fire like I am now um, making videos. I was going to restart my YouTube channel. Um, I was going to do some changes to my businesses and I was ready to go forth in ministry. Like I had a whole plan. And then um, and my wife was pregnant at the time. Um, and then it was Christmas night. I even made a song about it called All Right. You should check it out. That was the first and only song I ever released. Um, the link for that is going to be below. It's called All Right. Hopefully that will encourage you. But um, on Christmas Day, or rather Christmas night, after we were visiting with family, had a great time. Um, my wife wasn't feeling well. And so um, just to make the long story short, uh, she was pregnant with our fourth child. Uh, we went to the hospital. Um, he turned out to be a stillborn. Apparently, he passed away while in the womb. And that was very hard for my wife and I, especially uh, my wife, because we were so excited about having another child. I was going to have another son. I was thinking about all these things I was going to do with, uh, with my kids, you know, having another addition to the family. And then life just hit, um, and and I didn't realize that I, I was very good with with coping with things. I have had loss throughout the years. Um, you know, even earlier that year, I lost uh, one of my aunts. I lost some family members. I lost some friends, um, some close friends even. Um, and 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 it, it just hit me. You know, when you have a when you lose a child, it just it just hits you in a different way, and and. I was sitting there really downing myself, you know, blaming myself. Uh, my wife was blaming herself. We were trying to encourage each other while picking each other up. You know, she was feeling bad. I was feeling bad. I was trying to say, you know, it's not your fault. You're saying it's not my fault. And it really wasn't anybody's fault. It was just something that happened. You know, thoughts came into my head like I should have prayed. You know, I'm, I'm in the deliverance ministry. I should have said, rise up. But I just gave in. All these thoughts came into my head and it just started doing this spiral spiral. You know, I wasn't communicating uh, with uh, family as much. You know, my parents were encouraging me, my in-laws, my my siblings, my siblings in love. All of them were, you know, there um, encouraging me, encouraging my wife and just being present. And, and um, the best thing I did for myself, however, was be transparent. I wasn't I wasn't communicating with a lot of people and expressing my feelings, but I was being real with my wife at least, you know, and and my parents at least just letting them know how I was generally feeling. Um and so the first thing I did was I had a program called uh the MLM program which is mindset, lifestyle and narrative changing. I I did a lot of research throughout the years, read over 100 books um, on certain mindset development tools. And I had this program. I actually helped uh, a handful of people change their minds to get in a better position mentally, right? And then this happened. And I completely forgot about that program. And then I was sitting there, it was like a month after this happened. And I'm like, 
wait a minute. Let me try my own medicine. Like this has helped people and, and people have suffered traumatic experience throughout their lives. And I said, let me help myself for once. And I went through my program and basically it's, it's a step-by-step -step program to, for you to identify what's really going on, identify the roots, see how you can overcome that or see how you can even face it and then see what you want to do and accomplish in life and see how we can get you from point A to point B to your destination, uh, which God has called for you to be. Like I said, I was in, I was ready. I was on fire. I was ready to do what God called me to do. And then this happened and it was crazy. I just released this program. I suffered a tragic loss and then I had to use that very same thing to get my mind back into a place where I can be genuine with myself. The first thing I did was confront my depression. I was I was depressed. I said I was depressed and I said this is why I'm depressed. Some of us don't deal with our depression. Some of us don't want to acknowledge it. We just want to soak. We want to play that victim card because it feels comfortable. I didn't like that feeling. I was not feeling comfortable so I faced it. I said I am mad at the world. I'm uh, frankly I'm mad at God. I'm mad at this situation. You know, why did I have to lose my son? Right? I had all these big plans. My family, we wanted a big family and this happened, right? And so I I confronted that. I was very transparent. I was very honest with myself and I was very honest with God about that situation. And so acknowledgement was key and if you check out my podcast i talk about how to acknowledge in order to overcome after acknowledgement comes acceptance i had to accept the fact that i suffered a major loss and figure out how to live forward again when you suffer a close loss like that um you don't ever get rid of the memories you don't ever um forget the person, individual, or situation. However, you can get your mindset into a place where you can live with it and not always be in a place of uh, depression, right? And so um, it's very hard to hear um, things like that uh, because I know many of you who are probably watching this video probably have a different level of depression and it has different levels and variations to it. So uh, what I wanna encourage you to do is seek out uh, professional help um, as well as learn about depression, the stages of depression in order to overcome your depression. Uh, and sometimes it's very easy to get caught up in that state that you don't see yourself out of it. But once you acknowledge that you're in it, once you accept the situation for what it was, you can then start to come out of that situation. Me being a mindset professional and, and knowing how the mind works, knowing how people work and things of that nature, I was able to um, get my mind into a place to do so. Many of you may not have that experience, that expertise, might have went to college for psychology like I have and studied communications, studied people, so sociology and things of that nature. So it may be more difficult for you, uh, if, especially if you do not know how the mind works. Now, my biggest thing in faith is renewing my mind daily. If you give your day, the start of your day, what it needs, uh, as far as renewing it, as far as, in, in my opinion, going to God first, giving God the first portion of your day, then you'll be able to better your mindset throughout the day. And it doesn't happen overnight. It happens over time. It took a year for me to get to where I am now. But some of you have been dealing with various modes of depression for years, you know, uh, extensively. Uh, and so what you want to do is you want to figure out exactly the root of those things and that's where um you know coming up with a foolproof program to help you get out of that depression comes into play now it's not a one size fits all kind of thing but the simple things i've taken from my various areas of research show you if you're able to face the problem deal with it come up with a strategy to overcome it then that is what you want to do. 
I also work in deliverance ministry, and I'm here to say as someone who's casted out demons, someone who's prayed over people, some individuals can get deliverance, can be set free, but they still deal with that same environment, that same area. So sometimes they need a little bit more. You can come to the altar, get demons cast out, or just get a prayer of healing because not all depression is a demon. Not all depression is a demon. So you can get healing and clarity but if you go back to that environment it's not going to be healthy for you so you have to identify those areas and those memories in order for you to overcome i can't go to this place you know i can't wear this outfit i can't you know be in this facility i can't be around this person once you identify those things then you can also still address the issue so it's a lot to unpack in this just to bring it all together um, I went through a series of events in order to get myself out of that season of depression and then also increase my faith and put more trust in God in order for me to get back on track to what I'm doing now. And now being in a place to help others, teach others and share with others my transparency, my vulnerability, saying that, hey, I was depressed just like you. I still have thoughts, feelings, and emotions. However, I know how to deal with that. And now you can use some of these strategies to help you. And I've decided to give away my program for free for this season, that if you are dealing with depression, you're dealing with uh, pandemic fatigue, if you're overwhelmed with stress, anxiety, and you just need an outlet, I'm here to help you. Trust me, if, you, if the best step is to take the step forward, if you, if you just automatically cancel, cancel out and say, this won't work for me, if you go into that mindset, then it won't work for you. But if you go in willing to say, hey, I'm going to try this, I'm going to give it my best effort, I'm going to give two weeks a try, I'm going to give 30 days a try and see if this actually works for me. And if you do that, I guarantee you that if you put forth the effort, the effort will manifest in your life. The fruit of it will show forth in your life all you have to do is try and be willing to change your mind because at the core of everything it starts in the mind and it ends in the mind the power of mindset is so crucial and once you conquer that you'll be able to conquer anything in life especially depression hopefully some of the tips i gave and some of my transparency in this video helped you out go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button and listen to more videos because i am not done talking about this topic i want to help so many people this year next year the year after when overcome depression to be the best version of themselves that's what my channel is all about that's what i'm all about and that's what i am going to be for you so if you want more tips leave your comments below Give me some tips that you think will be able to help others. If you've been in a season of depression and you came out, I want to hear from you. I want to hear your comments about how you overcame your season of depression. And maybe we can collaborate on a video where you can show others your triumphant moment. Thank you, guys. And as always, be encouraged, be blessed, and be inspired.